Heading into Thursday night's conference opener against Temple, USF was looking for redemption after last season's loss, which ultimately kept the team from playing for the American Conference title. Well, tonight in front of a home crowd here at Raymond James Stadium, they certainly received that redemption. After a sluggish start and false start penalties, the team pulled through with a 43-7 victory. Head coach Charlie Strong credited his team's kicking game and defense for the win tonight. Now, as far as offense, he said they're still finding their persistence and the rhythm. Well, when you talk about offense, it's rhythm. And, and so right now we, uh, you know, I mean, you look at it and, and I told Valdez that one, you know, we hang in one out to him and he drops it. So that right there, it, boom, and then you hang one out to, uh, we throw one in the other end zone down there in the corner and we drop that one. Then, you know, coming on this end down here, we drop two of them. So when you have those balls and you drop those balls, then you just got to be able to bounce back and you got to be persistent in, in what you do and just keep battling through it. Although it wasn't the best night for USF's offense, there were some bright spots, including Darius Tice, who rushed for 117 yards and two touchdowns. Um, it, it, it felt good. The, uh, the rhythm getting better. Like I say, I, the old line, the old line, the tight ends, they, they out there, they blocking. You know, those, I know we run and we get the touchdown, but the old line, man, they, them boys, monsters. They opening up holes for us to run through. So those guys are, you know, you go as far as your own line. So the way those guys playing, there's no stopping us. Thursday marked the 21st consecutive game that USF has scored at least 30 points. However, it was the Bulls' defense that dominated from the very start, ending the night with six turnovers and holding Temple to minus four yards rushing. Like tonight, we didn't have a great night on offense, but we played well in the kicking game. We played well on defense. So two out of three phases played up to a level that everyone's pleased with. So when you get that type of play, the offense knows now next week they're pissed right now. So now they know that they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to do something because a lot more are upset about it. They, they didn't like their performance. So, but that's good because you, you always have that carrot out there where you can kind of, you know, you have something there where they have to go and they got to play for it and they got to go fight for it. And defensively, we know we can't take a step back. And even in the kicking game, you know, from last week to getting an extra point block to a field goal, now uh, Emilio goes out there and bangs out five of five. You know, we, we go out here and, and the thing we talk about is winning an American Athletic Conference Championship. And the last two years, we, we haven't been able to reach that point. Um, so you, you see guys and, and you, everyone talks about how our preseason ranking and, and how good we're supposed to be. I think you see a bunch of guys that don't care about that and just want to play football. Reporting from Tampa, Olivia Stacy for Florida Football Insiders.